Hello guys. Um, so, um, on this video uh, I will set up uh, the motor cut off or cut off. Um, I will show you uh, a good way to uh, simply do it for drones, uh, for multi rotors, but not for planes. Okay, and then uh, I will show a, a method that can be used for for uh, for both cases, for uh, for boats, for planes, for multi rotors, for anything. But let's go first uh, for the uh, for the the most the the, the more, most simple way uh, to do it for uh, only for multi rotors which means for models where the neutral position of the throttle it's on the middle not here on the middle okay so first so let's go into into the model setup here okay and let's jump into into mixer or It can be done on input or on mixer. I'll do it on mixer. Okay, so uh, with the scroll wheel, let's go to throttle. And not click, just long press, edit. Okay, we are here on throttle. I, I've labeled uh, already this uh, channel as a uh, as motor and we can go over switch just simple press it to start blinking and then choose a switch i think that most of you will associate this function to this switch here which is uh, the only one that has only two positions and as soon as you move it it will be automatically associated uh, to this position so um, you can choose if uh, the the cutoff position it's on uh, on the lower position or it's on the upper position it's up to you to decide it okay let's uh, let's uh, put it on the upper position I think in my opinion uh, that's the the position uh, where it's less uh, prompt to to be accidentally moved uh, during the flight okay so now that it is selected so with the arrow pointed down let's click okay <clears throat> In this position so you can fly you see as I move the throttle the throttle bars are moving excuse me as I move it to the other side the, 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 the bars are disappeared this means that uh, the throttle it's automatically set to the middle position on the output of the radio okay doesn't matter if you move it the bars don't move okay this means that the uh, the channel the throttle channel is set to the middle that that's why i i say that this method it's only good for multi rotors or uh, for anything where the uh, the neutral point or uh, of the uh, of the throttle it's on the middle position let's check it out so now we are on the on the basic uh, screen on the first screen if we long press the scroll button we see here this option monitors in monitors we can see the outputs of our channels okay these are the these are the outputs of our channels and if we pay attention i in my personal case i do have the throttle on channel 3 okay and the channel 3 in this right now it's on uh, 1500 
microseconds, which means it is set on the middle. If I move it, nothing happens. What you see moving is just the, the rudder. Okay, I move the throttle and nothing happens. If I move the switch, now we have throttle. You see the maximum value, it's on uh, 2000 something, minimum value, it's on 998 and 1500, it's dead on center. That's where the throttle cut is set right now. If I let me put this here, for example, and I will move this switch, it is automatically set to 1500. So, this method doesn't work for planes. If you are flying a plane, this method is not for you. So, how do I set a throttle cut for a plane? Because uh, what we did right now, it's not good for planes and you simply can't. So let's long press to edit this. And here, even we, we, we have white and offsets and curves and so on. Uh, even if you, you move or change the, these values, it will not affect uh, this, uh, this throttle cut on the middle. You can offset it uh, towards the, the right or the left and so on, but you can uh, you can get it right for uh, for uh, to fly a plane or something where you want the throttle cut that full down okay so let me reset this put it okay so let's forget this okay so now, let's go to another page, which is Special Functions. In Special Functions, we set here, just one, one, one click on the scroll button to jump over there. And as we already know which switch we're going to use for throttle cut, we go to the switch and simply move the switch. Okay, let's move the switch. Ah, it has to be blinking. More on. Okay. I moved. It is uh, blinking now. It's waiting for us to, to, to tell uh, which switch or function we want to assign to special function 1. Okay, let's move the switch. And it's done. Overwrite. So, but I want it. This, this is the the position. Uh, this is the flight position, and this is the uh, throttle cutout. I want the switch to be on throttle cutout position to set the special function, which is arrow pointing up. And uh, click OK to confirm. And yes, I want to overwrite when the when the switch uh, the switch SF it's on the upper position. I want it to overwrite the channel three, which in my case is throttle. If in your case the throttle is channel one, you put it on channel one or two, wherever. In my my case, my throttle it's on channel three. Okay, confirm move to the side and here i want to tell when i have the special the the switch f on the on the upper position i want to overwrite my throttle channel 3 to the value click to start blinking to the value minus 100 which is the minimum which is this position here this position would be 
plus 100 the middle would be zero and here <coughs> it's minus 100 okay it's set to minus 100 and we have to enable clicking in this uh, square we want to enable this special function okay now we are set we have set the special function we are all done return go into the main screen and now let's let's check the the monitors i'm sorry i'm checking my my phone because i don't have my uh video recording set up yet with a tripod long press the scroll go to monitors all right so <coughs> sorry for that we see now that we have a, a lock uh, icon here and the channel 3 it's on minus 100 that means that I have the switch on lock position even if I move my throttle you see you can see that the input the throttle input because this gray bar uh, shows you the 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 physical input okay and uh, the red bar shows you the output what is uh, being sent to the receiver so the output is actually the input is actually moving because i'm moving the uh, the, the potentiometer when it uh, in it in this case it's uh, the throttle but it is sending for the receiver a fixed value of 988 microseconds and I will move this to the upper position let's see what what happens and the lock disappears now it is outputting the value that I'm choosing on the throttle stick okay let me let me put it in here in another position and I will toggle the switch well wow, it goes straight to the minus nine uh, 988 microsecond, uh, microseconds which is throttle down with a locker icon on it you move it and the output bar doesn't move again put it on fly position which is upper and voila it's working well that's uh, what I wanted to ah, just one more thing you can actually use these uh, these uh, this method let me go into into there and I will use long press because uh, I don't want to go over all the functions I want to rewind long long and long okay so click to select we can go here when I say that you can use this function with uh, with planes or uh, with models where your throttle it's uh, right down and you can also use it for multi rotors uh, why because when you blink this value uh, you can set this value for uh, any value that you want because so if you set this value for uh, to zero this means that when you activate the switch as this is at zero this will set this will overwrite the channel 3 which is which is throttle to zero and zero it's the middle position we, we, which for multi uh, multi rotors it's the it's the neutral position you're not descending you're not climbing you are at zero and so you can set it for uh, any value that that you wish in this case as i'm flying up an airplane and my absolute minimum it sets it's at uh, minus 100 i set it to minus 100 all right so monitors 
and it's working so that's it I hope that uh, you have learned something more with this video thank you for watching see you next next time